Hi guys, Toby from Van Haven. Hope you're doing very well. Uh, it's been a little while since I've actually been featured on the YouTube channel. Today we thought we'd show you this lovely van for our, for our customer, James. Very, very cool styling. We've got very cool TTX overarch kit, with TTX wheels. We've got the TT front lip with a ash and gray satin optics. Just very understated, very neutral. Um, but then with these brilliant laser lights on the front here, I mean, these are bright and they're, 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 they're tremendous. I think the, the, the gray complements the Indian gray very nicely. It's very subtle. There's nothing too garish going on here. It's um, yeah, it's a, it's a really nice, really nice looking van. It's had a lot of heads turned on the forecourt here while it's been here completed. Um, and yeah, really keen to show you inside because that's where it absolutely excels, I think. So let's, let's go and have a look. Cool, so interior wise, we've got a Caravelle conversion, complemented beautifully, might I say, with the, the tan interior. And you'll notice we've got this really nice gray piping, a very subtle gray dress stitch which then again marries up the whole of the exterior sort of vision and look for the van. Yeah, it just ties it all in very nicely. Um, Caravelle conversion, super versatile, as I'm sure you've seen on a lot of our other videos with, with Tom and, and, and Ollie explaining, but um, everything is obviously fully removable so you can have full space of the van again. Swivel seats to create this kind of office space in here. It's really, really nice. On this van, something a little bit different to what we normally do, but again, it's worked very well. We've actually got touch lights in here as opposed to on the switch just because the customer obviously wanted that extra versatility let's say he's got passengers in the rear but no one in here and doesn't want any light glare or distraction in the front they can obviously stay illuminated do their work etc um, or, or keep entertained in the back there whilst having nice nice bit of light in here he's actually gone for a full black carpet black roof and black alcantara accents in here just to give it that real premium luxury feel. We do normally obviously go for the anthracite carpet, but on this particular example, um, I think it looks really, really nice. It looks really nice. Again, we've got the van shades blinds in here, matching in the black carpet. And a new addition to the Van Haven range, these rear quarter speakers, right, in the, right up in the corner there, which looks really smart, especially if you're having a, a pop top roof, which this van does come with. It just means that you don't have to have the speakers on the side of the van low down here. It means that you can have them offset back into the rear quarter. All acoustically tuned, works really nice in here. You can pair those speakers up with the Alpine door speakers and tweeters, um, which again, just helps that whole sound atmosphere work really well. It's, 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 it's beautiful, it really is, it really is. Following me into the cab here, we've got the Caraval lower dash and door cards package in here complemented with the uh, aluminium trimmings all around, which again, just ties in really nicely with the black carpet in the rear. I think it just looks really, really plush. It really gives off those X7 BMW Range Rover vibes for sure. Um, and just completes the van. It, it absolutely completes the van. We've got these nice trims on here, finished in Indian gray, just to match the bodywork outside and this delicate black gloss black sort of dash around which just marries up the digital dash display and the discover media all very nicely it just carries on that dark luxury feel throughout the whole vehicle we've got this lovely gray satin um, paintwork on all the internal optics here with the door handles on the map sensor lights which again just mirrors the exterior look and style of that sort of very subtle understated grey um, which is kind of transpired throughout the vehicle. Um, looks really, really smart. I absolutely love it. Awesome stuff and all finished with brilliant spec uh, electric sliders which is a very rare option at the moment because the factory has been a little bit harsh on, on building those with all the component shortages and whatnot but we are seeing a lot of them coming through now. Power latching sliding doors is also a great option to have if you don't want to have the full electric just buzzes that last little bit in. But but fair play to James and Tom, um, who have worked very, very closely together in building this fantastic example of a, of a TTX, sitting a little bit lower than our normal TTX, which works well. We have seen a video previously um, for Steve's van, which kind of had the same sort of look and, and aesthetic, but yeah, I think they've absolutely smashed it out of the park. So 
Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, also, if you have any video ideas, do put them down in the comments below. I know we had a comment a couple of weeks ago about the T6 versus the T6.1 example. We've shot one of those today. So any other, th any other sort of vans that you want to see, any examples, comparisons, do let us know and we'll, um, we'll definitely hop on it because we want to make sure that the information we're giving is relevant to you guys and you're actually gaining stuff out of it. So, so yeah, good stuff. It's nice to see you all again. Hopefully I'll be able to appear on a couple of videos again shortly um, if time allows and we'll, um, yeah, we'll see you next week. Cheers guys.